and the Chaffee Arts Center. I'm Sherry Berkheimer Rooker, the Executive Director here. I, with me is Nancy Gordon and Luigi, my little Luigi. He's, the, our, little, he's our little mascot. Huh, our Nancy? spokes puppy. <laughs> People come just to see him, not the rest of the Chaffee <laughs> right now. Um, and I wanted to also uh, give a thank you to Jim Bouton, who's behind the camera. He makes it possible for us to do this show, It's All About the Arts, um, at the Chaffee, which I think is, um, is really the, the tone or the way we want to be seen in the community is welcoming and warm. And um, so I think this, this helps people see who haven't really been here recently. It's amazing how many people will just drive by and think, oh yeah, there's the Chaffee, beautiful building and have a sense of ownership because they live here or they visit here regularly or seasonal residents. And yet, if you stop and say, when was the last time you were actually at the Chaffee? <laughs> it's true. They might scratch their heads. Well, I had art there during the student show when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, right. It, that was, yeah. And, and, <laughs> and Reagan, <at> our age. <laughs> Reagan was president when I was, so, you know, it, no. things change. Uh, there, are, there are wonderful ongoing exhibits. Uh, every six weeks, there's an opening. It's a nice thing to do on a Friday evening from five to seven. Come have some refreshments, mingle with the artists, yeah, which is really a lot of fun for me when I've done art shows as a reporter through the years. I would love to talk to the artists about their process. Exactly. You know, how because did you create this amazing thing that I'm looking at? Because sometimes what you think is like totally opposite, right? It's, I mean, art is a feeling, right? It's a feeling, but, but it's really interesting when they tell you what the, was in the creation process. The, the techniques used, the materials used, the number of hours put in, mm -hmm. some small object, and you think, oh, they probably cranked that out in an afternoon, and then you find out, no, no they worked on this for months. Months. You know, because there were all these layers that had to go in, and... I, I, I love, talk, I love talking to artists and crafters about what they do. Yeah, I agree. And I love giving gifts from those artists and crafters and then sharing that story. With them. With, with the, the rep recipient, yeah. and Because it, it is. It's, it, there's life that's breathed into mm -hmm. these objects when you know the person and their vision and their technique. So that's and one like of the you're saying, storytelling. storytelling. Because storytelling, right, right, goes back to long, long ago. We all love storytelling, and so and it makes it more personal. And um, you kind of become vested in certain things. That's why when we do our art in the parks, uh, which we're working on now um, in August and October, people will go back every year to get a piece from specific booths mm -hmm. because oh. they, uh, uh, you know, have built a relationship with the artist and so they're connected to the work. I have been one of those people, absolutely, and I, I love that, the tradition of it. I mean, there's, there's never a time I feel like, oh, I don't want to go to art in the park this time. Never. <laughs> no. No, because there's always looking for familiar favorites and then looking to see who and what is new. Right, and listening to the music. And listening to the music and getting the snacks <laughs> and the whole atmosphere. And the whole shebang. <laughs> and who you're gonna run into that you maybe haven't oh seen gosh. since last time you were at Art in the Park and sitting down and having lunch with somebody. Um, all of that, I, do we make you yearn for August uh, right now? I know, and because people, people we, we luckily have and, and we appreciate volunteers, you know, maybe 70 volunteers each um, event that we put on. And um, people say, I'll volunteer because they love to be, it's a social thing because you see all these people you might not have seen for a year, weirdly. We're just in Rutland, but, um, but you know, it's really interesting. So it's August 12th and 13th and October 7th and 8th. We are, um, uh, accepting applications now. Yes. So um, on our website are the applications and the information. Um, you can call it Chaffee if you have questions or email. Um, it's all uh, on the website. Um, email if you have any questions. And it's and not too soon to sign up as a volunteer if you want to be in touch. That's right. <laughs> 
oh, maybe somebody's signing up right now. <laughs> I can hear speak. the phone. <laughs> um, but let's go back to talk about the exhibit. So right now, um, the exhibit we have up is up until March 3rd. And the idea for this exhibit is, is just a little different in that, um, you know, just thinking, oh, wouldn't it be fun to create, because we have three, three main galleries downstairs and then a foyer and then we have upstairs. So we have a lot of gallery space, but wouldn't it be fun to create downstairs um, galleries that people can come in so they're gonna feel an emotion, they're gonna see an emotion, you know, or see, you know, to make it have an emotion. So like one of them, I'll give an example because that might sound a little vague, but um, we have one gallery that's called Frozen. So everything in the gallery is, uh, you know, whether it's photography, fine art, sculpture, it's related to ice and snow. So we have a, we still have a beautiful tree in there that um, has lights on it and it has snow on it. Um, and, you know, we have places where you can sit and we have the fireplace. So it's a feeling. And then the art gives you the feeling. And then the building gives you a feeling because we have this beautiful 1890s mansion we're in as well. The room we're in right here is called um, Breathe Deep. And I don't know if you can, how much you can see, but we have um, a lot of nature and um, the outdoors and the tree. And um, because who wants to get rid of these? So, you know, you want them around for a little while. I love having the lights and things like that. But um, this one is more about, you know, just coming and relaxing. That's why we have, you know, chairs where people can come and sit and look at the art and um, and, and visit and, and visit, right, and enjoy it. Hey, that's a good segue, isn't it, Nancy? To talk about <laughs> <laughs> we were chatting about this before, so um, we'll get back to more about the exhibit. But the segue is that we um, we've been wanting to for a long time create a cafe here. But it, we haven't quite got there yet. So um, we're going to start. Got to start at we the gotta beginning. We got to start somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a hot beverage bar. And when people come in the door, they'll be able to, um, they'll see it. It'll be right there. So it'll be really easy. And um, it'll be, you know, like the Haitian blue coffee and hot cocoa and teas maybe hot cider depending on the day. Um, and it'll be um, kind of self-serve and you, you know, put your, your money in the little jar there. And that way, as we were just kind of saying, you know, when you want to meet with friends or you want to have a meeting, or you just want to come and enjoy the art, there's plenty of places here to sit and relax. So whether this is just a day that you need a little self-care, me time, and take in the beauty and the inspiration of the art, of the crafts, of the building itself, or if you wanna have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with a friend, and you don't wanna have a lot of people listening in on your conversation, uh, you know, a private meeting of some kind, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation, this would be a great place for it. And, you know, we have suggested donations for the beverage, and we've got beautiful spaces for you to sit and have that conversation. Exactly. Or again, if you just need, I know sometimes I just need to be surrounded by art and beauty and inspiration mm -hmm. because life is full of so many True. tasks or and you're feeling deadlines. you isolated too and you wanna just go and be somewhere else other than home. Yeah, yeah, but you don't necessarily wanna deal with a big crowd. Right. The, so this is the ideal spot to put on your list for things to do, places to go, a happy place for yourself. This can definitely be one of your happy places. It's my happy place. Yeah. I'm so thankful every day for being able to work here at the Chaffee. And Luigi definitely makes it his <laughs> happy place. Yes, he definitely yeah, does. Yeah, he's he, just... he says, my other home is a mansion. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, I mean, this is, the beauty and the inspiration, you know, you can have your breath taken away and you don't have to travel to a, an exotic location to do it. You can just focus and, on something right. that you're enjoying here. And some people might think, oh, it's a gallery. 
meaning um, you have to have a certain mindset or something to come in and enjoy it. But really, that's not true. Because yes, we have um, you know wonderful fine artists with um, you know oil or acrylic or watercolor, but and we have photographers um, and sculpture and we have sculptures. And then when you go through, we also have this gallery shop that um, we painted a new color. If you haven't been in, and um, you know, in there are other things that you can't necessarily hang on the wall. I mean, there's you know. Uh, things that are designed or handmade, you know, um, by area artists and, cr and creatives. Um, you know, you know, we have pottery and jewelry, and um, we have these really great hats um, that <laughs> the have trucker an hats and the beanies. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and um, gosh, scarves by Fran Bull. I mean, there's just so many. Um, fun things here, so you don't. I think that people just have to step in the door, and I think they're that they'll realize that it's not um, stuffy or no. or just for the whatever elite the artistic or something. elite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the, um, the, there's very there are different styles. Very approachable art, some more abstract mm -hmm. art, some folksy sort of things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, very straightforward photography. Some that's a little more complex conceptually, mm -hmm. but there's something really for different yeah. types of, of people. And and we have a lot of things here, um, like classes and things that are geared toward children. Um, every month we've been working with the life intervention team and since October and we're doing, we do a free workshop. Um, Second Saturday. Yeah, well, it's not always works I, on that one, but it is. But it has and, been and, yeah, the last and, couple of months anyway. Yes, and um, like like examples are mask making was one of them we did, and we're going to be doing um, you know um, creating a, um, a mosaic for your Valentine. Same. Yeah, and um, it's been really real well received, and it's something that like I said, it's free. We have a free Friday morning class for ages three to five um, that we hope people take advantage of, and we work with the Rutland Free Library on that one and um, you know it's really great to be able to collaborate with people because we have so much here in the area and so many things um, to offer people and it's part of being a community art center we like to also um, you know give back and and things like that I wish I had a three to five year old in my life currently to take on it a Friday have, morning I know because it's all about the arts so it's music and yep. visual arts and, and reading reading and, and, and yeah. all the arts and painting and everything yeah. and exposing exactly. little kids to that that age so you can spark perhaps a lifelong interest in one of those arts in particular, but again, broadening their horizons. And if you are a stay-at-home parent or other caregiver, how great to get out and have this free opportunity that broadens your horizons as well as those of the small child. And the interesting thing is we, we get people that are um, grandparents or, or older people who are bringing you know, some young ones in too. So. Um, it's just a fun thing for them to do. We have lots of other classes, though. You know that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we do watercolor every month. We do a sip and dip every month, which is where you, you paint with an instructor on acrylic. And then we do um, clay every month, figure drawing with a live model. We have a book group, um, which we read, I guess, kind of self-discovery books that are uh, really, um, really interesting. I... I can't always take part in the book group because we usually have classes going on, but I always read the book. And we're, we partnered with Phoenix Books on that, and um, so people can get their you know, books there at a discount. So And buy local. Right, and you can buy local. So um, I'm just trying to see if I missed any. Oh, we've been, we've been uh, working with um, Marissa Valent. She is, um, do you know, yeah, she's at Castleton and um, on acting class, you know, things to deal with, do with the theater. This is exciting. Yes. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, we're working on other things dealing with that to try to maybe have a fundraiser, but that'll be another day that we'll talk about that. But in the meantime, these free workshops to how to uh, improve your audition experience, whether you're a youth 
or whether you're a, a teen on through adult, if you are looking to audition to participate in a play, how do you bring your best material? How do you get yourself right. Right. present your best self? Enjoying the best experience that you can, so you're not just you know waking up in a sweat the night before, <laughs> uh, you know, but that you're going Being prepared. in. You're, you're prepared mm -hmm. and you're presenting your best and, and greatest talent. Uh, and and the playwrights workshop mm -hmm. in March is also very yes. exciting. It, yes, it is exciting. So we have the classes that I was kind of telling you including the playwright is the adults and then we also have lots of classes for children we do a, a painting class every month for them we do drawing um, clay uh, there's a puppet making um, on Saturdays uh, you can do one or four of them um, and that free class that we do and plus you know we're always interested in what people want to see and want us to have so if you have ideas and then and, and you would like to see a certain class or workshop um, at the Chaffee, uh, you, we welcome that because, um, you know, I mean, we have, we're able to do some free things as well. So um, we'd love to be able to um, do things for maybe artists who need to, um, who want to hone in on a certain skill, how to take pictures, photographs of your work. That would be really great for us because, <laughs> <laughs> because when people submit, we'd love them to give us our photographs because we try to put those on our website um, so people can see them from all over. We're going to be working on camp soon. I got to get it done in the next hmm, few weeks, all of our camps, because I guess we're late because, <laughs> because a lot of places have them out already. So we did 13 camps last year, and I'd like to do more. Um, we're hoping to have an outdoor classroom. So that'll be really, really fun with our pollinator gardens and um, because we have a hundred foot by nine foot pollinator garden, thanks to the um, Rutland County Audubon Society's grant to buy native plants. They're, they're all native. Um, so we have that. And what else do we have going on, Nance? Rentals. Oh, yes. We want to remember this is a great place for a party for you know a wedding for a reception for a marrying you know retirement birthday party. birthdays oh I, I, I can imagine having this place for a birthday party when I was a kid oh wow how fun and we yeah we've done birthday parties and um, you can do private sip and dips we've had quite a few of those um, so that can be a birthday party we've done one for a shower um, really it can tailor to anything that you're interested in any you know craft or art or not even that just using the building um, for your event we have a, a proper kitchen we do in the back and so you can heat up beverages and you can refrigerator. Heat up, yeah you, proper refrigerator stove the whole thing so if you want to bring in food you've got a space to prepare things properly and that's that's a plus that's a very yeah and and uh, microwave which is always plus <laughs> and um you know um if people are, are wanting to um support the chaffee in any way you can become a member you can become a juried artist member you can become um uh, you know a, a single membership or a family membership um we're in the middle of our annual appeal right now and we thank everyone for all of their donations. Um, and, um, you know, we'd love for people to come in as well because there's one more gallery that I didn't mention, which is called Resolutions. And on the stairway, we have a place where you can, we're trying to create a mosaic with, you know, colorful paper, but you can write your, um, your resolution or, or a, happy, a happy thing that, you know, happy thought or something that makes you happy or a drawing or a word and um, add it to our um, our um, mosaic on the stair, the grand staircase. Notice a lot of people in the last few years have taken on the practice of selecting a word for the year. Mm -hmm. And that's the word they're going to try to be focused on in terms of how they live their life, uh, what they notice yeah. and appreciate, et cetera. Do you have a word? So, I have a word. I don't have a word. I have a word. My word is believe. And I wrote that on the stairs. If, if you believe anything is possible. You and Ted Lasso, <laughs> fans of that show. Um, I'll have to think about my word. Yeah, you'll have to think about it. Maybe next time I'll mention your word. Yeah. So no, there is so much here. 
and so much goodwill. You know, when you walk in, this place is full of warmth and charm. It's elegant, but it's not off-putting. No, it's a lot of people, very inviting. Yeah, which is so it's so heartwarming because when people come in, that's what they say, Nancy. Like they feel, they feel the warmth of the chaffee. You know, um, and there's another place upstairs I didn't mention though. You can also see some of our permanent collection. We put some of that out in um, what was the master bedroom, one of the galleries upstairs too. So that's something new to see, other than our two rooms that take you back to the 1890s which is an original bathroom and Mrs. Chaffee's sitting room that has historical like tea set or uh, linens from the 1800s from the Chaffee family it has all that kind of thing. So um, it's fun. You can kind of get the feel of what it was like back in the day. Yeah. So remember when you have people visiting, you know, once they get off the slopes or stop looking at the leaves or whatever, you know, there are so many things just in this one building for people to enjoy. It's a, it's a nice way to spend an hour or two on any occasion, any time of year. And we thank everyone for um, spending some time with us. Um, it is all about the arts. They're healing and they're um, inspirational and we hope you come and visit us and enjoy them with us. Take care.